Hello Power Raiders and welcome back to our Power Raid reviews. I am Power Nate and I'm the Mountain and today we are going to be reviewing um, the strawberry lemonade flavor of Power Aid. Now what can you tell me about this strawberry lemonade? This is this is interesting. This is like um, one of the sort of like more niche flavors. This yeah. Is, it is a sugared variety but it's sort of like not one of their sort of core flavors which is interesting. Yeah um so for beginners it's strawberry lemonade flavored. Mm -hmm. And if my reading comprehension skills have taught me anything, it means that there's going to be some strawberry flavors in here and some lemonade flavors in here. You are colorblind, not dyslexic. You can read. Yeah. Okay. What's in the nutritional facts? Yeah, so the nutritional facts. Mm -hmm. Um. So, you know, you got your 6% of your daily value of sodium, 7% mm -hmm. uh, your daily carbs, 41% your daily added sugars. Mm -hmm. um, this, this is all sort of standard numbers. Yes. 80%, uh, 80 calories, 2.5 servings. Stuff like that. 8.828 uh, flu ounces. Um, what's in this sort of ingredients list? Oh, okay. Let's, let's go to the ingredients yeah, list. Let's, let's, let's figure what's out in here. Because, I mean, you'd think it would be a little different to the grape. But it, perhaps it's very similar. I don't know. Um, so we have water, high fructose corn syrup, less than 0.5% of citric acid, electrolytes such as salt, monopotassium phosphate, magnesium, and calcium chlorides, uh, ascorbic acid to protect taste, mm -hmm. uh, natural flavors, gum acacia, hmm. glycerol ester of rosin, calcium disodium EDTA to protect color, Vitamin B3, B6, B12, uh, it's getting hard to pronounce section, uh, niacinamide, pyridoxide, hydrochloride, and cyanocobalamin. Hmm. Uh, and to end it all off, we have red 40. Interesting. Now, actually, I did notice, uh, what was, um, gum acacia? Gum and, acacia and, 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 and ester of rosin, is it? Mm -hmm. Those, now those, I remember we saw some of those in the ultras, uh, section, I believe. I believe, and I, I, I believe that is used as a thickening agent. Interesting. To, Thicken. No, don't quote me on that. I'm not a, a, um, a food scientist by any means. But, uh, yeah, I believe that's used to thicken liquids. Interesting. So this might actually be rather thick compared to some of the other powders we had. Uh, yeah, I mean, just looking at it, it does seem rather viscous. Yeah. In comparison to some of the other ones. Like, it's interesting, because when we're looking at the grape, the grape was not necessarily too cloudy it was certainly cloudier than the zero sugar but mm -hmm. this is absolutely i mean if you look at this i mean that's you can't even see my hand passing it's very opaque oh yeah absolutely. i'm very curious to it's see what it'll fog. look like once we actually pour it yeah, out i'm actually interested to see sort of what um what it's gonna look like in there because obviously it does change a little bit mm -hmm. when you pour it but i mean this looks almost uniform really um I'd say it gets a bit lighter towards the bottom. If yeah, you can I think that might just be that. perhaps from just because there's less of it. I think the color itself is kind of stagnant throughout because of how opaque it is. It just kind of hits like a like a brick wall almost. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to say. I got these with along with the um, the zero sugar fruit punch and the grape. I don't recall exactly where it was. It may have been Wawa. Um, but I, I just seen them in the store. Actually, it might have been Wegmans, I believe. Okay. I think. Um, or some some chain, something like that. Um, where I previously not looked. Um, and I seen a few on the shelf. I checked sort of my checklist that I have. So you know which flavors we have reviewed. Um, and this wasn't on there. And I'd, I'd note that this was like one of the more harder to find flavors. This is not one that you often find. Yeah, this isn't store. exactly a common power. Aid no, not at all. So I'm actually interested to try this because this is one of the rarer flavors. Mm -hmm. I don't believe I've ever actually had um, this before. Yeah, I I don't believe I have either. I've had similar things. Obviously, had strawberry lemonade um, through other various sports drinks and powdered drinks and things of that nature. But um, as far as like a sort of pre-bottled sports drink goes i don't think i've ever had strawberry lemonade so this is actually new to both of us i uh, yeah so you're gonna get some real candid uh responses from this i think it's time i think we just should stop putting it off and just oh yeah absolutely crack Let's, it open yeah Pour me some. i'm i'm very interested to see this it does seem very viscous it looks rather viscous let's pour it Ooh, yeah i mean that's it's not like it's not like a jello but it's got some like qualities of that Ooh. 
it is also like I, I dare say this is the most opaque um, flavor we've ever reviewed. It's real opaque. You can barely get some light shining from the bottom of it. That's how opaque it is. I do my sort of hand tests, as I often do, but this is impressive. This is like a new level. I think perhaps the um, perhaps the ultra white cherry was maybe similar. That was probably the most close. But... Probably. That's what do you think about that smell? Hmm. That's an interesting smell. It's like smoky almost. It's, it's yeah. That, it's the it's the artificial strawberry. I've smelt this before. It's like you don't really get much of the lemon in there. Really, it's all that strawberry. It does. It does smell good though. It does. It's a good smell, but it's it's like it's like a different. It's all. It's it, you know. It's weird. It smells good, but almost in a in a warning sort of way. Mm. Like there's almost a warning about what's to come. I note that there's like there's always two different kinds of artificial strawberry. There's like one that's more like syrupy and like jam like. Mm -hmm. Um, if you've ever been to the Popeyes restaurant, um, there's a sort of drink there that's like a strawberry oh, soda. Oh, strawberry Fanta, I believe they. I have. believe it is Fanta. Yes, is a Coke product as well. This is like the second kind of strawberry. There's like that kind, and this is the other kind of strawberry mm -hmm. of the artificial strawberry. It's more of a sour sort of. Yeah, like um. Like, sort of, like, on the vine, maybe, perhaps. Like, yeah. maybe it's, like, not completely grown, whereas that one is more, like, a strawberry preserves, something like that. That's what I think it is. Yeah, there's, like, those are, like, the two different... And I'm, I don't want to sort of make it sound like this is, like, like a wild strawberry scent um, smell, but but it's it's interesting. And it also has sort of the... You can smell, like, it has the, the sour of lemon to it. Yeah, I mean... There's actually not much smell. I find it actually very difficult to sort of get in there and get the smell. I feel like I, I have to sort of squeeze it to. It's not as aromatic as some of the other Powerades that we've smelled or mm -hmm. sort of had a uh, taste. So I wonder if that's gonna actually gonna come along in the drink itself. But I'm interested to try this. You say it's time we. Yeah, let's have a right. cheers. Cheers. Got a low battery notification on my phone. <clears throat> what did you think? I thought it was... A very good flavor. I was actually, again, rather surprised by this flavor. Yes, yes. Um, I would say it's not like the grape where I was like surprised by how good it was because I already had rather high expectations for the grape. Mm -hmm. But this, I'm usually not a big fan of lemonade flavors um, or citrus flavors in general, but this actually has quite a lot of strawberry in it. Yeah, it's... Now something I will say, just to sort of get this out of the way mm -hmm. before we, you know, start talking more about this, is I did, this was definitely one of the more acidic flavors. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It's it's definitely in the back of your I, 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 um, I felt it sort of like, actually sort of like at the top of my... Mm -hmm. Kind of like I was saying before with the grape. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, um, yeah, even even with that out of the way, it's a very yeah, good tartness. flavor. It's it's good. It's It's got tartness. The, um, I would say it's actually very close to this smell. I think the smell was actually, you were saying it was like a cautionary smell. Mm -hmm. I actually think the smell actually works quite well with the taste. I think so too. It's a... Drinking it again, I'm getting, I am getting actually more of that lemon taste. Mm -hmm. I feel like bef like when I first had a sip, it was kind of masked by that sort of delicious would strawberry. Like, would you like any more? Um, top it up a little bit. Okay. Just a tad. I have to watch my, watch my, yeah, that's good. So I, I don't want to, you know, get, get back to my addictions and drink too much. But. Mm. You're what, um, about two months clean at this point? Power eight addiction? Yeah, thank you. It's, it's, I had to, you know, obviously I have to drink it for the, for the channel, but frankly, it's, it's, it's pretty bad. <clears throat> I had to, I had to ask the people at McDonald's to, to not sell me it. I've, <laughs> I've been trying the Tropic Berry Sprite. Which is very good. I don't know if you've had that. Oh, that um, like that, the it's very delicious. It's McDonald's Sprite, but with like, oh, kind of like a, it's yeah. like a pineapple strawberry kind of taste, which is very good. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's neither here nor there. 
Um, yeah. But this is actually, it's actually surprisingly balanced. When I first had it, it was kind of more of the strawberry taste. And then kind of leading into it, I was getting like more of those lemony notes. The more I sort of dank into the sort of strawberry lemon haze. Now, something I worry about is um really just the acidity and how that would yeah. affect you over a, a period of drinking. Yeah, it is it is very lemony. Um, you know, I'm not like a sort of like a, like a, you know, like a business magnate. I did not have like a sort of lemonade stand when I was a kid, but it reminded me of like a sort of like a kid's lemonade in a way. If that makes sense? Mm. I feel like once you start with that strawberry, but over time, the acidity kind of builds up a lot and you get really into that lemonade taste. And I, I see. Rather acidic and rather lemony. So I, th I think it's one of those things where you probably should be sticking to that one serving as opposed to the... Whole uh, bottle. Yeah, as opposed to the whole bottle. Because um, I think it may get a little too acidic over time as you're drinking it. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just a very nice flavor overall. Yeah, it's it's pretty good. Um, I feel like it's... I don't want to be too harsh. I feel like the more you drink it, the less good it gets. I think this is one of those few flavors where it's time sensitive. That first sip is incredible. And as you're drinking it, it gets more lemony. And I personally am not super into lemon. I will say I do like lime, but with this kind of like tart, acidic lemonade taste, I'm less appreciative of that when it becomes sort of more of the dominant flavor. I disagree. I think it, <clears throat> I think sort of the, um, the appeal of the, strawberry lemonade i think it i think it stays constant through the mm. entire drinking that's the only thing i can really think that would ruin that sort of feeling is the acidity as previously mentioned yeah i mean it is probably a little bit of that as well you know probably um the acidity building up mm -hmm. in my mouth is probably contributing to that a little bit but i don't know i mean it is real good don't get me wrong but it is absolutely not something you can drink a ton of you have to watch yourself and in a way, actually, that makes me think it might be good for perhaps the the zero sugar crowd, mm. um, in a sense where that sucralose might actually kind of change the biting a little bit. Like I think, <laughs> since they're both biting but in different kind of ways, it might actually balance that out pretty well. Hmm. And as well as the fact that if you're healthy and you're trying to you know watch what you're drinking, you might want that smaller amount anyway. So in that sense, it might actually work well. Perhaps not for the flavor qualities that I usually think of, but more of the, like, sort of meta qualities. Mm. See, I think this would work really well as an ultra flavor, mm. just simply because of its... Tartness. Yeah. There is that citrus, the citrus blast we have reviewed in the past, which yeah. is... It's more of the lemon-lime, obviously, but it's... I think it, it's comparable with the citrus... I don't know. I think they're kind of... The citric, the, well, the citrus and the sort of acidity and the citric acid that you taste a lot of, I mm. think that is mostly where I'm talking about. Not necessarily the sort of berry qualities of it. Okay. Yeah. I can, I can see that. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's it's good. I think if I was sort of at, like, a, a sporting event, maybe perhaps I was playing, you know... Uh, ultimate Frisbee. Curling, I was going to say. Ultimate Frisbee would work. Um, I think... If I had a little bit, if I was kind of, if it was like early in the game and like, you know, it was like, you know, maybe let's say first quarter or something like that. Um, I think I wouldn't mind this early on because I would have a little sip, you know, I'd be hydrated a little bit. I get back in the game and I feel good. I think mm -hmm. if this was, you know, bottom of the ninth and I'm getting, you know, I'm sweating, I'm tired. I've been running around all the whole time and, you know, I, I need my fluids back. I think I would prefer a different flavor power. It's something that I can drink a ton of and I don't feel too soured out. Okay. Too puckered out, I think. I think that's kind of my metric where I'm going with this. I can see that. I think it's... This is definitely... Just going off of that idea of, like, you know, you, you're a player in, you know, a sport or whatever. Sports drink, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think this is... It, this would be a lot better in early game mm -hmm. yeah. than sort of like the later end of the game. Um, it Absolutely. just, I think in a weird way, it sort of energizes. 
Interesting. I think it's just the acidity that's really I think it's the acidity and the bit gets of that salt. going. Um, I don't know if you've ever made like a if you're you ever made like a little lemon battery or like potato battery where you put the two like like a penny and a, and a dime or something into like a lemon and you like put your tongue between the coin that like zaps you a little bit. It's kind of like it, it's it is mm-hmm. actual battery because it's like you know you have like the the metals and then you have the sort of conductive surface of your tongue and then the lemon itself is kind of like powering it um, with like it's kind of like you know uh, electron charge or whatever it may be. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know the exact science. I'm not a scientist. Um, but I, I think it might do something similar to that, where it's like the salts and the acid combine and it makes this kind of like energizing and it might be good for that perhaps. And maybe mm-hmm. it is perhaps more energizing than hydrating. I see. But yeah, I mean, I don't have a whole lot much else to say about it. Yeah. I mean, is there anything else you want to add about the taste? Uh, did you I... ever have like, um, like a lemonade stand as a kid? Did you I... ever? Never. Ever? No, no. No. So I was I did mention before it has a little bit of that sort of lemon lemonade quality and is I suppose lemonade but I mean I have tasted lemonade stand lemonade before. Mm-hmm. So I mean sometimes it's not great. Yeah. Um but sometimes it's just like, you know, kinda like country time or something like that. Something Some of these like, brands we're not yeah. sponsored by country time. Um but you know, it's 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 just like classic, you know, that kind of cloudy yellow lemonade. And actually in a way, looking this at is, the sort of cloudiness yeah. of it. It does remind me a lot of, of lemonade. Mm-hmm. It's like you can barely see through it. But obviously this is a pink more so than like a light yellow. Now, um, what would you rate this Powerade out of seven? Ooh, this is hard for me. I'm not sure. Cause I, I already have my... You have my, a, Well, what's my, yours? I was going to rate this a uh, 5.5 out of seven. Really? I was thinking more of like a 4.5. Ooh. Like, it, it's good. The more I drink it, the less I appreciate it. I think perhaps I may have gone for a five, but it is a citrus, and I'm just not a big fan of citrus. It's good. Don't get me wrong. I, I would say perhaps the first sip or first few sips were a 5.5, but the more I drink it, it's like a 4.5. Hmm. Because I really, I have to base on the whole drink and not just that sip. Yeah. If this was like a shot of Powerade, perhaps, um, I'd be more willing to give it that high rating. Because, but, I mean, this is a fair amount, and... I I, th- I think that it still stays consistent. I think it consistently sort of keeps that flavor up. There's like that, there's like a little smokiness or something from the strawberries. It's like, mm-hmm. it's a little off-putting. And you mentioned that when we uh, yeah, talked about the sniff well, test. Yeah, the, the smell, but I'm kind of getting it back. And I think it's the acidity that's really bringing that out from the strawberries. Mm. Um... I mean, obviously, four point five is still pretty good at yeah, seven. That's obviously, about fifty percent. Or no, it's oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. That's, no, that's a three. That's a three point five. I apologize. Yeah, it's, it's it's like um like a sixty, I believe, something like that. It's around there. Something. Yeah, it's unfortunately prime seven is a prime number, so mm-hmm. we don't math isn't that. very clean with it. But uh, yeah. But I mean, that's I mean that's essentially power. There's not much else to say. I mean, it's. Even though it's sugared, it's not sugared, if that makes sense. It's not overbearingly sweet. It's obviously very Yeah, tart. it's more it's more sour and tart than I would say sweet. Yeah, it's kind of in they have that more like range. I would say there's like two sort of distinct ranges. You have like more of like that tart with like the orange and the lemon lime. Mm-hmm. Uh and this um strawberry lemonade. And then you have like more of like the sweet flavors. So like fruit punch may probably be in there, mountain berry would be in there, grape would be in there. I think there's like two sort of distinct trains of thought that you get with Powerade. And I think this is definitely for the more tart lovers. Yeah. I agree with that sentiment. Mm-hmm. But um, I I think it was overall a pretty... It was good. It, it was, was a pretty was decent not, flavor. Yeah, it was not bad, absolutely. It's not it's not a top flavor, but it's it's still pretty good. I'd say... um, I, I would recommend you try it out. I mean, yeah, if you're, I don't think it's necessarily a flavor for everyone. No, but I think those who enjoy it will, they will very much enjoy it. It's definitely for those tart lovers. If you're a, a fan of other um, Coke products such as Sprite or Fresca or more of these tart citrus kind of flavors, you will probably enjoy this. Um, and if you like lemonade and things of that nature, um, Minute Maid, um, then you'll probably enjoy it. Um, if you're like a like a hardcore Powerade fan, if you like those other flavors we mentioned. Like the like the citrus blast and the lemon lime and orange things of that nature, you'll like this. 
Um, yeah, I guess that's about all I have to say really that's on about it. about it? Yeah. All right. Stay safe, Powerators. Farewell. See and you next adios. time.